I'm Stephen Upex. I teach uh, here at Cambridge at the Institute of Continuing Education and I've been doing that for the last, well goodness knows how long actually, since the dark ages. And for the last few years actually, ten years possibly, I've been teaching on the making of the English landscape course and enjoy doing it so that you'd come to me for a couple of courses, a couple of units, uh, the prehistoric and the Roman unit and then the medieval unit and you also deal with Dr Simon Draper for the middle, uh, the Saxon unit there. And all of those will be taught in Cambridge face to face. Uh, well, how, how are the modules taught? Well, there are, there are three modules actually, or three different units of the, of the course that, that operate. Um, Prehistoric and Roman is one, uh, Saxon is another, and then the whole of the medieval period is another. And they're all taught here in Cambridge in person. Um, not dealing with a computer or zooming, we're all doing it face-to-face uh, -face, uh, online and that's great because it allows the students and me to ha have a great sort of repartee and get to know one another but it also allows for a whole variety of different other aspects of teaching. Uh, passing objects around, looking at stuff um, in a, in a practical way. It's actually very important. Looking at objects, they might be prehistoric hand axes or Roman pots or, or medieval coins, but there's something quite intriguing about having them passed around to you rather than just seeing them on a screen on a computer. And I think that's what really appeals to a lot of students that have done the course in the past. So, you know, let me just emphasise again, it's taught uh, face to face in Cambridge. Uh, you would come here for various weekends, uh, stay in university accommodation or in local accommodation that you would choose and we would meet over a weekend, uh, go through the lectures, do the informal um, practical work um, and then you'd go back again with a reading list and we would meet again the next time that unit was convened. Well, who is the ideal candidate? The ideal candidate is you. Um, <laughs> and have you signed up yet? Um, I, th I think the ideal candidate is anybody, honestly, anybody that's interested in what's over the hedge, what's on the outskirts of their village, how did their town evolve, um, what are the humps and bumps that they've been looking at for the last few years on their way to work and they've never really understood. You know, that's the ideal candidate as well of course as somebody who's got not just an inquiring mind but interested in reading, uh, finding out, um, yeah. Well I think the first thing to say is, is, is the programme's very flexible. Um, it's taught over a series of weekends uh, here in Cambridge uh, at ICE which is Maddingley Hall uh, and students turn up and we have a weekend together looking at the prehistoric period, another weekend looking at the Roman period and so on. Um, a lot of that is clearly lectures, discussions. There's normally practical sessions actually. I bring a whole mass of stuff from prehistoric pottery or Roman artefacts um, for students to pass around and look at because that's part of what we're going to find in the landscape archaeologically. So there's that practical element. So that's all put together really. Um, students can stay in hall or they can have bed and breakfast in the town or around the area. But it's, yeah, it's taught over a series of weekends and it's very informal. There's nothing stodgy, certainly in my classes, there's nothing stodgy about it. It's very informal, it's very chatty. So you get to know the tutor, I get to know you. Um, and it works, I think, it works very well. Yeah. Where's the course going to lead you? Yeah, that's a really good question, actually. Um, it might lead you nowhere. You may be just doing it out of sheer interest. But equally, it could lead you to a whole variety of different courses that you could take your life on. I mean, if you're interested in looking at um, archaeology, landscape, um, history, landscape archaeology as, as a career, there are various avenues that you can go through. Uh, the course qualifications are recognised by English Heritage and National Trust and national bodies like that. There are a lot of commercial archaeological companies now that are looking for people that can survey, can dig on excavation sites, that look at broad pieces of landscape and assess how those pieces of landscape might be built over. So there's a growing demand for people in the heritage industry 
to, have, to come through with qualifications like we're offering here uh, and to, to move into those walks of life really. So yeah, there's, it's a pretty varied um, menu that the course offers really from where you want to take, where you want to go with it certainly.